Well, for more on this, let's go to Robert Winslow, who joins us from Madrid. He's Executive Vice President at Ever Technologies. Really good to have you with us, uh, Robert. Can I start by asking you uh, more about your company? Or what do you do exactly in the geothermal energy space? Well, it's, it's a good question. What we, we set up the company back in, in 2017. Uh, we felt there was uh, a gap in, in the market. And what we have done is developed some technology that allows uh, geothermal energy to be developed uh, almost anywhere. Um, a traditional approach is, is looking for um, a hot aquifer underground. Uh, and there's been great success in, in Italy and Turkey. Um, and also in Iceland, in, in Europe, uh, for power generation. Those really are the three countries where um, power generation has been good. Um, but what we did was we said, you know, the heat is always there if you go deep enough. Is there a way of extracting that heat um, without, without needing the, uh, the aquifer? And that's, that's what we've been focusing on. Yes, and indeed, harnessing uh, Earth's power, uh, so to speak, has been seen as the holy grail of uh, renewable, clean uh, energy. But uh, it's eluded much of the world so far uh, because of uh, the fact that it is expensive to do so and the logistics of it all. Uh, do you see that improving in, in the near future? Yes, definitely. Um, one, one of the ways that we look at it, um, be, even though we are focused on a particular uh, technology, we are a big supporter of all things geothermal. So one of the things I, I like to say is, is the answer to the question is yes. right? And the, and the question is, is geothermal energy development possible in my location for my application? And, and the answer is yes. It wasn't yes five, five years ago, or and certainly not 10 years ago, but it is today. And technology uh, and approaches and ideas have, have changed and uh, improved. Um, ironically, a lot of the, the technology comes from the oil and gas sector um, and comes from, from the shale industry. And the costs um, have come down dramatically for drilling long reach horizontal wells. And a lot of that technology is now being beginning to, to uh, be exploited uh, for the geothermal industry as well. Uh, that's right. As you say, it's uh, the same technologies that uh, the fossil fuel companies use yeah. that are employed in terms of harnessing uh, geothermal power. But w we don't see, seem to get any buy-in from some of uh, these big uh, oil and gas companies. Why is that? Is it a cost-benefit thing? I, it's, it's, it's a good question, but you are starting to see it. It's, it's certainly still in its infancy, uh, but we attracted our own company. We attracted investment from BP, from Chevron, uh, from BHP. Uh, other companies have, have also attracted investment from oil and gas companies. Um, Chevron, who previously uh, pulled out of the geothermal sector, have now gone back into the geothermal sector in a big way. Um, and oil companies are starting to look at it. The, the challenge is, and, and the reason why it takes a while before things happen, is that the development cycle can be, can be quite long, um, somewhere between three and 10 years. But the oil companies are starting to look at it very closely. Uh, the most recent um, investment we had was uh, from a company called OMV, which is the, the, the large Austrian uh, oil, oil company. Um, and so we are starting to see oil companies taking the geothermal sector seriously. 